So before we do our first test, let's bang it together. <sighs> first look. Da, 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 da. look at that is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Well, mind me. That's what they all say. Oh. That is a lot bigger. That is some weapon, isn't it? It is. Look at that. So what battery have we got there, James? We've got the AP500 battery. Yes, it's the new battery that's still released with this saw. So this is the Steel Light 04 bar and chain, which runs exactly the same bar and chain on the 261. So this test is as equal as we can possibly make it and make mm -hmm. it fair. We're gonna have a brand new chain on the 261, obviously a brand new chain on the MSA 300. And it's worth bearing in mind that the, obviously the MSA 300 is meant to be equivalent power to the 261. Oh, someone's trying to steal our car. Oh. Double dog. You always like a double dog. Have you got I reckon oh. you can unbolt that clutch cover and you can put a double dog on there. That'd be nice. Mm. Quite aggressive. And that's not Josh's yoga move that like we mentioned before. No, I can only do a double whale. <laughs> double whale? <laughs> double whale. Slop a battery in it. So she's oiled up, the battery is full, the brand new chain is on. It's nearly time to set sail and do some cutting. Josh, as you will know, in previous videos, we have been told that we did not let the saw warm up and mm. run in. Mm. So I think we better just do this now. <laughs> I think we're good to go. Yeah. Right, let's crack on with the first test. First test, we are going to weigh them both. Yes, the 261 is going to be full of petrol and the battery is already full of battery electric. Juice. Yes, it is. So the MSA 300! Oh, God. Right? <laughs> yeah. Did I just, did I just, did I just... had a shooting pain right on my side. I though. had that the other day, right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, Seven kilograms. Good. Seven kilograms. I don't know why I said it like <laughs> Kilograms. Right. And now, the MS 261. Get away. Make that about five and a half, to be fair. I'll go six. Yeah? Six. Yeah. Six. Six. That feels lighter than that, though. Yeah. Don't tell the wife. But no. Josh has dribbled on the scales. There you go. <laughs> Good job at bathroom scales. <laughs> Most powerful cordless chainsaw available on the market. Three kilowatts of electrical power with the AP500S battery. With up to 30 meters per second chain speed. With three operating programs for individual use. One eco, two all round felling and three deliming. It is running on the Light 04 guide bar and the 325 by 1.3 RS3 Pro chain. Yes, it's available up to 18 inch bar options on this saw, but also has 14 and 16 inch options. Robust thermal setup and all weather proof. Reliable with all applications and conditions. It's even got a service cover on the top. So yes, you can take the air filter cover off. Hang on a minute, a battery saw with an air filter for easy cleaning. I like the sound of that. And you've got an operation and notification cockpit. But you've also on top of that got the variable speed trigger, so you're still in complete control of your chainsaw. And what more, with all the new still battery chainsaws and products of the market, it's totally prepared for the connected 2A system. If you already use still Pro Machinery, you know that their anti-vibration systems are of the top rating, and this is no different. Yes, it has the AV system included. And just like its brother, the MS261, you've got visible magnesium die casting all around the product, the oil tank housing, the bar stop, the sprocket cover and the fan wheel which isn't visible. And as you expect from a pro saw, it still has an adjustable oil pump so you can control the amount of oil that is going to the bar depending on what application you are using it for. And this saw, just to reiterate, is the fastest battery chainsaw currently on the market with up to 30 meters per second chain speed. That's running the AP500S battery. It is worth noting that you have got to run that battery to get the full speed. And again, it's worth bearing in mind you can't get full power with a smaller battery. So here I've got the AP200. Slide that in, turn the power on. If you can see, it flashes up and it basically tells you you can't run it any more than Eco. So test number two, yes, we are going to measure the RPM at the clutch using this beautiful, beautiful tool. James's little taco meter. Love oh, it. I like a taco. <laughs> <laughs> he does love a taco, Crop. doesn't he? Does love a taco. You waiting for that bell to ring, are you? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, start on Eco. Eco. That's going to be 20 meters per second, that one. 20 meters per second yeah. on eco mode, but this isn't measure per second. No. It measures RPM. Yeah. So. That reads out at 10,044 revolutions per minute. That's what the 261's meant to mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. at full power. That's on eco mode. Middle power. Middle right. power? Middle yeah. power. Yeah. So standard cutting. <laughs> Twelve 
4,141 revolutions per minute. 25 percent more power, pretty much. That is that is mm. that is impressive. Right, so impressive. Have full right. power. Full power. Reset. So this is a full 30 meters per second running on an AP 500s battery. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Woo. That was mad. 14,560. That is a far saw. Wow! Let's try the 261. Yep. Josh, start the change. <laughs> 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 yep. Oh, well, that's come out of 13,371. So my tachometer is obviously reading higher than what Stills does, because Stills say that 261 measures out at 10,000 RPM. But I suppose we don't know if that's with the bar and chain on, because they don't state that. No, that's could true. could rev higher without the bar it and could, chain. That's very true, actually. That's very true. But anyway, to the clutch, that is what our readings are. So already the MSA 300 is coming out at higher revolutions mm -hmm. on full power compared to the 261. So stay tuned. We're in the next video. We're going to show the MSA 300 card. <laughs> On to test three. So as we mentioned, we're going to fit brand new chains to these two saws, and that's a 1.3 mil 325. We've done that before, actually, haven't we? Turn around. Cause every it's only time. Yes, we're going to do some cutting. Josh has the MS261 here, and we have a nice bit of timber. He's going to go down, up, down against the clock, and then he's going to do exactly the same with the MSA 300. Let's see how he gets on. I'm going to count them in, and we'll go, go, go. Three, two. Right, so now exactly the same test with the MSA 300. Three, two, one, go! That is smooth, isn't it? Mm. That is proper smooth. Lovely. That is nice. Mm. I like that. That's, that's quite surprising. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Right, we've got another cut test to do in a minute, which is in bigger timber. Let's have a look to see what other things we can measure on this saw. So it's that part of the video where we do a giveaway to one of our lucky subscribers. Yes, all you have to do is comment in one of our videos and be a subscriber. It's that simple. And then we'll choose at random who gets to have the giveaway. And today's lucky winner is... Warp Fire. Yeah, congratulations, Warpfire. Please ping us an email, info at hazemachinery.co.uk, and we'll send you a... Ooh, steel chainsaw bag. Steel chainsaw bag. Steel cap. Steel keyring and steel pen. If you haven't already got a chainsaw to put in this, well, you can have a look at our website, hazemachinery.co.uk. Got lots on there for sale. Mm. But congratulations, Warpfire, and good luck to all the future subscribers. Should we get back to those tests? Let's go and do some more tests. And now we move on to the sound test. And I got my mate James here with his phone app, Jobby. Yeah, I got my, my phone app is Noshi. Yes, Noshi, not Joshi, to measure how many decibels each of these saw is. And we measured out 1.5 meters away from the saw. Should we do 261 first? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> That is 101, 101 decibels. This is about right for a chainsaw. What does it yeah, say on the sticker? Yeah, it says 118 decibels, but 118. again, that all depends That'd where it's That'd be obviously for you, the user, we're just doing yeah. 1.5. Let's measure the other I'll one. say 300. Turn her on. I'll go full power. That's 88.5 decibels. Oh, who knew the battery saw would be quieter? I'm so surprised. Yeah. Um, that one is rated to 109 decibels. 109 decibels. Yeah. But obviously, again, that'd be for the user. So obviously you're using a chainsaw here, your ears are here. So they're probably measuring like that away. But again, for safety, we're measuring it that far away. Should we move on to the next one? Next test. So now it's time to cut some big wood. Yes, that bar is 18 inches long, and so is that bit of wood. Josh is gonna do just one cut down through, 261 versus the 300. 
Let's do it. Let's, Let's do go it. for it, mate. <laughs> So now it's time to put the battery MSA 300 through the same bit of timber. Yes, you can see she is a perfect size for that bar. Oh yes. Let's go, Joshy, let's do it. Gonna be, gonna be close. fairly close, isn't it? That is gonna be close. You've got the numbers, you've seen this. We haven't done the timing yet. You can see how quick that was. But I gotta say, that is rather impressive. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed with that. So one last thing to do with this, and that's just some general cutting, cutting up some logs with it. I'm gonna put me PPE on and crack on with that. So it's time to put the MSA 300 into some proper work. I've got these apple trees that blew down in the last storm. So our in-house goats have literally stripped most of the bark off, but they can't reach some of the top stuff. So I think it's only fair if I let some of it down so they can nibble away at the moss and stuff. Right, so we're gonna do some of the smaller bits in half power, Mo two. And then when I do the bigger stuff in a minute, we'll put it up to the full muscle saw, all right? So it's now time to put it up to full power. Yes, it is. That is so impressive. It really is. That is, I like it. I do like it a lot. So roundup time. Mm. We've got this beautiful MSA 300 and the AP 500 battery, and we put it up against a 261. Pros, cons. What do you reckon? What's, well, your, what's your favorite pro? What's your favorite thing favorite, about that? Favorite pro? Well, construction of it. You know, it is an absolutely solid bit of kit, isn't it? It's, it is. You know, you're not going to be too worried about lugging that around, and it's going to do the job. And you can see from the cutting performance, absolutely spot on, really, really fast. And it's the biggest saw, biggest battery saw on the market so far to be available. And I'm very impressed. Mm. But it's nice to see something come to the market like this because there's a lot of pro users really want something in that sort of market. You know, something that will compete really well against petrol products. So that's really, really good. And it's like for like, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like yeah. cutting yeah. wise. It's like for like, even in the logs and in Josh's time to tests. It's very, very similar to mm -hmm. the 261. There'll be some differences as there with every saw. For one, obviously, it's 
it's battery powered, you haven't got a fill it of petrol, well, or fuel, or gasoline. <laughs> Especially with the rise in fuel costs. Exactly, the, moment, the rise of fuel costs at the moment, then winner, that winner. is becoming more and more popular, and now a pro, pro user have got a decent sized pro saw to consider. And yes, it is 100% worth considering. Mm -hmm. If Definitely. you are in the market for a new pro saw, have a look at one of them. We've got them on our website for sale. There's other dealers for still worldwide where you'd be able to get one of these from, but keep your eye out for them. Definitely 100% invest in it. You're going to smile. And I suppose the other thing to mention is they have got a new brand new top handle chainsaw coming up. The MSA 220 TC and TCO. So the O stands for the all guard system on it. So that will run AP 300S batteries and AP 500S batteries. Now they're not available yet, but carry on watching this channel and we'll make sure we'll get one of those saws and do some tests with that one as well. Please click that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. We'd be very, very grateful. Thank you very much. Right, I think that's all of it. That's it. Cool. cool. Right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.